All right, so I'm gonna do my recording now. I'll do it quickly, so just in case, because people snatch phones here. But uh, I'm with Oren. We're just getting through a tuk-tuk, and uh, we're gonna do some shopping, uh, laundry, get new water, and what else? <laughs> watch. Oh yeah, fix my watch. And then there's a party tonight for residents staying at the resort. So that'll be interesting. And of course, we'll talk about crypto. All right, I'm gonna put my phone away because someone's gonna steal it. All right, so this is the first time ever in Cambodia that I ever see mac and cheese. They got bacon, chicken, regular box. So we got mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese, Velveeta. More mac and cheese, Amazon, and milk for the mac and cheese. All right, let's go enjoy some mac and cheese. So let's talk about bullish divergence. People are getting very bullish because of the price. We're going up, we're at 34, 179. You know, we haven't been, we haven't been uh, this high in quite a while. So let's check out the chart. As you can see, we're breaking through resistance, which is good. Things are looking good, right? Now let's take a look at the, uh... oh, hold on a second, sorry. Okay, so if we see here on the RSI, the relative strength, uh, relative strength index, you can see that we have broken through our downtrend. If we look at the downtrend since back in March, right? No, sorry, even, even further back. Let's go all the way back to January. We're on this downward trend, downward trend, downward trend on the RSI, and then boom, we break through it, right? See this line right here? That's, that is a bullish trend compared to the bearish trend that we're seeing on the Bitcoin chart. And of course, that's what we know as divergence. Bitcoin is in the downtrend, but the RSI is in the uh, upward trend, right? So yeah, that's a good sign. That's probably why we're seeing the prices that we're seeing today. Um, but we need to remember, and this, you know, I'm, I'm personally, and this is only me, I'm quite bearish on the charts. You know, I still think we're gonna go down and I hope I'm wrong and I probably will be wrong because I have been wrong many times in the past. So don't take this as any kind of advice, but all we need to do is zoom out. You know, let's, uh, let's zoom out here, okay? This is the uh, one day chart, by the way. Um, okay, one out. So if we take a look right here, so this upward trend that everybody's so bullish on in the, in this, in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's, it's not that huge of a move. You know, there's the, uh, 200, uh, SMA, there's the, there's, there's a lot of resistance that we still need to break through for me to be on the bullish side of things. So let's see where we are, but you know, you know, people are getting excited and it's cool, but I really don't think that, uh, I really don't think that we're gonna be uh, going to any all, all time highs, you know, anywhere uh, in the near future. Well, we will be, but not anytime soon. So yeah, that's my thoughts and be safe out there. So, this is the party that I'm about to go to. Uh, it's for the residents that are staying at the uh, place I'm at. Six to eight, the Lantern Bar. And yeah, they got like Korean food, Korean drinks, although don't know how much I can drink or eat because I ate way too much craft dinner and I don't feel so good. So let's go check it out. So this is my first time drinking Soju, 
Is it your first time? <laughs> He's shy, camera shy. Alright, let's go. Cheers. <laughs> It's not that bad. Maybe because I'm so used to drinking vodka. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>